Simon. Welcome back, part two, Jib, the vampire bar girl. Intrigued? Yes, she's a vampire. We left it, part one, Peter, computer expert, own business, working from anywhere in the world, has got an apartment in Chiang Mai, He's been away from his house for two years. He's sat at a bar where he's seen a girl the night before by the name of Jib. 19 year old, beauty. He's besotted with her body. Then her lovely hair. Pretty, but shark-like eyes. Soulless eyes. He's just bought her a drink at the bar. And they've sat and chatted for a while and he decides he's got to take this girl and try and see if there's any bond between him and her. This is a bar girl. Is there a bond? <laughs> he pays the bar fine, the money to the bar to compensate for them losing the girl from their bar, the staff member. Pays the bar fine, takes her out of the bar. It's a beer bar, so she's already in her civilian clothes, which is a cat suit. Pink and white striped. Looks like it's glued on or sprayed on, it's that tight. He's embarrassed walking down the road with her, heading back to his apartment. But first they stop off at a little Thai food stall on the corner of the street with some little tin tables and seats. And they have some noodles and some food. And Chip's talking to him in her broken English. She doesn't seem that interested in him and she doesn't seem to have much to say but he's just besotted with her body. They finish the food and they go back to his apartment, his condo and they have a night together for various aerobic activities. She stays all night. They didn't talk about money, how much, whether it was for a few hours short time or for a lot. He just didn't bring the subject up. That's dangerous. She could have charged him a fortune in the morning. Morning came, luckily for him. It was more in low season than high season. He asked her what money she wanted and she this is 15 years ago, came back with a figure of 1,500 baht, 20, 25 dollars back then. And he thought it was fair enough. However, he paid her and she left. His thoughts on the night, the aerobics class, she was rubbish in his eyes. He wasn't an expert aerobics teacher or pupil but his thoughts were she was rubbish lifeless no fun at all oh dear what a shame if she'd have been a Kirby or Apple of this world if you don't know what that is go back and watch my other videos if she'd been a Kirby or Apple this could have been the dream girl. Disappointed. Anyway, gets a shower, goes out, gets breakfast, comes back, starts work, decides I'm going out, nice day, I'm going to work on his laptop out in a park. So put some stuff in a bag and off he goes into a local park and works for the day. Beautiful weather. It's good for his skin, his really anemic white skin, he's beginning to get the colour. He's been travelling for two years away from his house, not in a rush to get back. The day passes, and he puts all his stuff away, goes back to his apartment, and he's sat there twiddling his thumbs, what to do. He doesn't really want to go out with the other nomads because they only ever go to a go-go bar or not much to do really in the evenings apart from go to beer bars or watch the boxing or go to restaurants. He's, he's still intrigued. Jib, her body was as good as 
he imagined and the look of her was just amazing. He starts wondering, maybe it was just because we were our first time together, it wasn't very good. Maybe I should try her again and maybe take her out for a few hours. He decides, yeah, I'm going to do that. Second chance and all that. So he goes, out he goes, round to the bar. She's there. Um, it's early. Straight in, talks to her. Pay bar, let's go for food. Today, she's in not the cat suit, but like a two piece cat suit. Just very tight, stretchy leggings, almost leather look, and a tank top. Still looking amazing. She's happy to see him. She smiles more than she has before. He says, pay the bar, let's go for his food. And she, a little bit easier to talk to. And she sort of snuggled up to him a bit and they're walking. They pick a restaurant, they go and have food. And he takes her home again. Much better performance from the aerobics and a lot more feeling from jib this is uh, much better much better morning comes gives us money and he gives her a little tip gives her a couple of hundred baht more sends her off he works all day happy enjoyed himself and thinks i wouldn't mind seeing her again goes back to the bar she's not there Disappointed, he thinks I'll go and get some food. Comes back an hour later, hour and a half, and she's there. She'd been with another customer. She just He just caught the tail end of the guy saying goodbye to her and wandering off. And then the guy had returned to the bar, had a drink with her, and then off he went. Ew, oh, whatever, it's her job. Anyway, he now spends the next four weeks bar fining, jib every day or every night and in the daytime she'd go back and she'd work and help out in the bar at lunchtime but quite often in the evening the deal he'd done was he'd give her the money for the next night to pay the bar and then turn up meet him about six for a meal and they'd go off out but she was late sometimes in that time she'd been with other guys in the daytime okay that's, that's life. He guessed that was what was happening. He could have, he's paying the bar fine, he could have asked her to spend 24 hours a day with him with that bar fine paid, but he didn't. He wanted to work. Weeks go past and he's, he's feeling a bit homesick. He's missing his parents. And he says to Jib, I'm going back to the UK for a month to see everything's okay and see my family. Um, more than likely I'll be back here. Jib's fine, yep, okay, great. Off he shoots. His apartment's due, he pays month by month, so he's coming to the end of the month, sorts everything out, packs his bags. He's got hardly anything because he's been traveling for two years. Flight down to Bangkok, Bangkok back to the UK. His car's been sat for two years, his house has had tenants in. Um, he hasn't told the letting agents that he's coming back, so he arranges on the phone before he travelled to stay with his mum and dad, leave the house rented out. His car was on his mum and dad's drive, so he gets back, catches up with the folks, spends a day on the car, his dad's already had it MOT'd and kept it up together anyway. And he just spent some time with his folks, a few weeks wandering around. In his mind, this jib is still in his mind. It's the body, not the personality. He's happier, his parents can see he's happier. They ask him why. Tricky, how do you tell your parents? I've met a bar girl. A girl that, that's what she does, meets different guys every day. So he sort of 
Little White Lies. I've met a girl in Chiang Mai. She's from Thailand, but younger than myself. And at this point, he is um, 32 years traveling. So he's 35 now, is he? Hmm. Yeah, no, I'm knocking on. He's not been married. He asked his parents if they'd seen his girlfriend from school. Nothing. Hadn't seen her. So, everything's fine. His job's great. His house is rented out. He's got money coming in. More money from the house than he's paying for the mortgage. He's making money with the business. There's no reason for him to stay here in the UK. So, almost a month up, he tells his parents he's going to go back to Chiang Mai spend some more time with this girl, some more serious time, and see if there's anything in it. His parents are delighted, fantastic. Books a flight, gets on the plane, Thailand, Bangkok. Spends a night in Bangkok, having a wander around. Just doesn't impress him, it's just too much, the nightlife. Next day he gets on the plane up to Chiang Mai, Books a hotel for a night and wanders around to the bar to see Jib. She's not there. The bar manager, is, what, the, it seems to be Thai run. There's an older Thai lady who's the cashier, maybe owner. There's no Mama San. She just said she's not in today. She's out. In other words, she's with a customer. So, stays at the hotel for the night. Next day, letting agent finds another apartment, a bit further down the road, slightly better for the same money. Moves into it, is excited to see Jib. Works for the day, a few hours. Late afternoon, off down to the bar. No Jib again. He says to the lady, and she, she knows he's been bar finding her previously. He says to her, where is she? I'd like, I, I want to pay bar for her. And, oh, mum's sick. She's gone home for uh, a week. Psh. Two months pass. Every day he's in the bar. No jib. He's in his condo. He's working. He's earning money. Where's she gone? What's happening? He decides he's going to throw a bit of money at this woman this evening and try and get the story of where she is. He needs to see her. He goes to the bar, says to the woman, where is she? This has been ages. He's gone home, gone home. He pulls out some money. He puts a thousand baht on the counter, puts his hand on it, slides it towards the lady, said, where is she? I want to see her. And she, like this, she knows she can get more out of him. He's desperate. He's been coming in every day. <laughs> Pulls another 2,000 bahts on the table. Slides it towards her. And asks her again. And, she's, and he goes to pick it up. And she went, she leave bar. She leave bar. Go Patea. Patea. And his mouth dropped. What? She go Patea. Work. And he's, do you know where? Hmm. And she grabs the 2,000 back. <laughs> Out of his hand. She's gone. She's gone to Patea to work. Just up and left. He's in Chiang Mai. He's besotted with that body. The outfit she wears. She wasn't very good in the aerobics, but she was getting better. There was something there. She's different. I'm not saying she was special, but she was different. She's a vampire. She really is a vampire. Hmm. He's in Chiang Mai. She's in Patea. What's he gonna do now? Does he forget her? It can work anywhere. Hmm. 
see you on the next one. Bye for now.